Welcome back to another cool tool show and tell. Today my special guest is Tyler Weingartner. Tyler is a video producer, an editor, and a videographer, and a maker specializing in electronics and digital fabrication. Tyler, thanks for joining me today. And what did you bring to show us this time? All right, so today I'm showing off these solderless quick wire splice connectors. Um, a few weeks ago on Maker Update, you were, uh, you and I were both amazed by this DigiKey video showing how to slice into a wire and strip away at it, and then and then you feed another wire through the um, through the stranded wire and then solder it together. And we're like, why? This seems so simple. Why have I never tried this? Why did I n never know about this? And they reminded me of these connectors here that uh, I encountered quite some time ago, even before I got into electronics. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my other camera here so we can get a closer look at them. As typical with wire connectors, they come in different colors and refer to different wire gauges they can work with. I'm going to talk about them using this big yellow one because they'll be a little bit easier to see. But if you look at how these work, um, focus in here, uh, you see we have basically two channels for wires. And what these will enable you to do is quickly splice into a wire that is already active to get at whatever you want to. You basically to duplicate that wire. Yeah, you're, um, you're joining joining two wires together with this one little splice, right? Yeah. Uh, I first encountered these when I would get these kits to install heated grips onto my motorcycle. Uh, the idea would be that you would tie into the power for, say, your headlight, and then use that 12-volt power supply to also power the heated grips. And what you see here, um, hopefully you can see this, is that you have these two wire channels. Uh, this one on this this one on the side has a gap that you can fit over the wire that you want to tap into so you don't need to disconnect it. Um, so you can just kind of fit it over the wire. They all have this, the, the red wire one for smaller gauge wires. That's what, gonna, what I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's smaller. Getting the wire on there is a little bit of a fingernail busting uh, thing. So I'm going to cheat with that one. Um, and then what you see here is it's got this sort of guillotine blade here with two V-shaped blades here that – you use a pair of pliers to compress down onto the wires, and that's what makes your wire splice. Um, and then you have this little handy cap to cover it. So uh, let's just show off um, how this is going to work. And like I mentioned, I'm going to use the red one here to demonstrate. I'm going to cheat here, so I'm going to feed. I'm going to do what you can't do normally, which is <laughs> you're going to feed through the wire here, but you can also just feed it through the side here and uh, capture it that way. Got it. And then I'm going to feed my green wire here through the other one. It has a stop. It has a positive stop here so that you uh, don't go too far with it. Um, check my focus on the camera here. And so those two wires are in place. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to crimp this down. a little bit more oomph there. Mm -hmm. Give them a quick tug to make sure that they are they feel secure. And then um, you still have this uh, metal piece over the top here. I guess you could use that to check connectivity, but you don't want that to uh, short itself against anything. So then you can flip this cap over it, and that will, that will seal it. Very and cool. And... Now, if we want to be scientific about this, we can quickly check continuity here. And I may need to crimp that down a little bit better. <laughs> I did not hear the cheerful bing. Yeah, I heard, I heard a distant beeping in the, <laughs> of a car backing up somewhere, but not quite the, the multimeter beep. I can, I can imagine sometimes it's probably hard for it to chew through the sheathing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now I'll say this uh, just to back it up. Um, the 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 DigiKey video we were talking about was one that explained both splicing and tapping, and I feel like this is more like that tapping idea where you can uh, take an existing wire, one that you don't even have access to one end or the other, and put push this onto the wire. 
and, and tap into it and be able to run another line that's tapped into that line using this type of connection. And to me, it blew my mind because I never, it never occurred to me that the term wiretapping <laughs> came from this. To me, wiretapping was always kind of putting a microphone on someone's phone line. But the idea of actually tapping an extra line into a connection, uh, I'd, I'd never thought about this, the actual physical tapping of the line. So uh, a connection like this allows for that possibility. Uh, and I, I am so surprised. It's just, I've not come across it before or had it kind of enter into my, my workshop. I definitely need to fix that. And so these are solderless quick splice snap wire connectors is how they're listed on Amazon. And the price I see for it is around $12 and you're getting a bunch of them for that, right? Yeah, you get a whole kit of like, I think it came with like 12 of these big yellow ones, like 18 of the blue ones and 22 of the, uh, the, the smaller red ones here. And given that these are the wire gauges that I work with the most, I'll probably get the most use out of these. Um, I think there's another conversation to be had about like where the appropriate use case for these are. Um, I'm not an electrical engineer, nor do I even pretend to be. And I, I, I feel like these are more for like really quick connectors and maybe not the most um, reliable job in the world. Um, I feel like these are for if you need to make a really quick splice together, like I, and you need to make it quick and you don't have the time to um, strip away, you know, insulation, do a proper soldering and then shrink tube job um, or, you know, disconnect the original wire and splice it uh, and run it properly. Um, but I don't know. I feel like uh, people who are invo involved in like combat robotics who are like, okay, we need uh, five. We, we have, you know, 20 minutes to make these repairs. Okay. Throw in a couple of these and we'll do it properly later when the match isn't coming up. Yeah. Um, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, well, I, but they also, they solve that problem for when, if for some reason you don't have access to one end of the wire or the other, and you don't want to um, necessarily endanger or cut into it uh, and and have to do a, a twisty wiry job on it. Um, this is seemingly like a non-destructive way to tap into that line because you could also, in theory, remove these, right? Is there enough blade left at the top of that where you could pull it back out and remove the connection? I honestly don't know. I've never, I've never tried removing these. Um, yeah. I can also tell you, you know, while I say like I think these would be good for quick temporary connections, I've also had these running, again, like the heated grip connection on my motorcycle. Uh, these long outlasted the heated grips themselves. So you know, I had these installed for like four or five years yeah. uh, with no trouble. So. Right. And I, I, I think I'm also not selling the, the fact that they're solderless, right? I mean, that's, that's in the, the name too. If, if, you, if you're in the field somewhere, you don't have a soldering iron or like a wire nut maybe, um, this is another way to be able to, to tap in a connection with nothing more than a pair of pliers. Yeah. Like if you, if you have a bag of these and like a multi-tool, you could get a lot of electri quick electrical work done. Yeah. Tyler, this is another great recommendation. Uh, thanks for showing them to us. You can find links to these down in the description and you can find more tool recommendations like this at cool-tools.org. Tyler, thanks again. For sure, thanks for having me.